In this episode, the Equifax data breach. What the heck happened and what to do next if you're one of the affected. Hey everybody, I'm Mike DeCepoli and this is episode 39 of the Ask the Advisor show. Today we're coming at you from Dallas, Texas as we're down here for an industry leaders conference, really trying to refine our skills and be the best that we can be for our clients. But this week in episode 39, we want to talk about something that's a very important topic in the news right now and that is this Equifax data breach. Now, if you haven't heard about it by now, it's probably unlikely because it's been all over the news. But just to recap, back in late July, Equifax Data and Credit Services were the victim of a massive data breach that affected about 140 plus million people. The information that is vulnerable through to this attack, social security numbers, birthdays, home addresses, and other pieces of personal information. A lot of people have been asking, am I affected? Well, when you look at the numbers, considering we're of a country of about 300 or so million people, with 140 million being affected, that is almost every credit card user in the United States. So, we wanna outline some of the steps that you should take to find out if you're affected first, and then what to do thereafter to make sure that you can protect both your credit and your identity. So, we'll give you a couple tips here today, and we'll try to throw the links up on the screen uh, so that these different websites that we talk about, that you can visit them yourself and make sure that you're protected. So the first thing uh, that you need to do is to find out if you have been affected. Okay, so you're going to visit the website. That website is equifaxsecurity2017.com. And you visit that website, they have a search module that you can use to see if you are affected. But in our experience here, every single person that we have sent to that website so far has been affected. So like I said, I think if you have a credit card, you are one of the affected. So that's the first thing you're gonna do is visit that website. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to enroll yourself in something called Trusted ID. Okay, Equifax, as the victim of a breach, they have an obligation to provide you with credit monitoring services at no charge for minimally the next 12 months and longer if there happens to be additional impacts that come through. But at least the next 12 months, they have to cover you. So, how do you enroll? You're going to visit Trusted ID, which can also be found at that same website, Equifax security2017.com. Enroll yourself in Trusted ID. They will send you an email link about 24 hours later to confirm your enrollment. And from that point on, your credit will now be monitored through their Equifax data protection services. Now, I know a lot of people have said, well, they couldn't be trusted with my information in the first place. How can I trust them to monitor my credit here on out? And that's a very good question. So we're gonna give you a couple other steps that you should take. The next thing you're gonna do is check your credit frequently, okay? Log online through this Trusted ID service, check your credit as, you know, at least once a month, I think would be a great idea to check your credit, make sure nobody's opening new accounts in your name and there's no fraudulent activity going on. So that's step two. The third thing, if you are really concerned about the impact or if you're somebody who has many credit cards, many different lines of credit available to you, you may wanna put a freeze on your credit. There are a lot of services out there that will help you do this. One of the most popular is lifelock.com. Again, we'll throw the link up on the screen here so you can visit their website. They provide all different levels of services, uh, but one of the most popular is putting a freeze on your credit. What that means is nobody can take out any credit in your name, not even you, unless you call them first and have them remove the freeze. So that seems to be one of the safest ways to go. You freeze your credit entirely and nobody can open anything in your name. If you want to open a credit card or get a loan in the future, you'll just have to call LifeLock, ask them to temporarily remove the freeze, and you'll be able to go about your business. So that's step three. And the fourth step, we would encourage you to file your taxes as early as possible once we get into 2018 and you have all your tax documents on hand. Many times when fraudsters get this information, one of the first things they look to do is file a false tax return and try to secure a refund that, is, that does not belong to them. One of the ways you can ward this off is filing first, okay? And a lot of times in fraud cases where people go to file their tax returns and they find out their return has already been filed. So the earlier you file in 2018, the better. That will prevent somebody else from trying to file on your behalf. 
So these are just a couple steps that we think you should take as people that are affected by this data breach. Uh, due diligence is always important and we want to make sure we keep your information safe and sound. So if you need more information on these different steps that you should take, feel free to visit us on the web. And of course, we hope you keep up with us on all the different social media platforms. We have a lot of exciting things we're putting out there, and we hope you come along for the ride. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you back next week for episode 40.